Okay. What's up, y'all? This OG Weasel Urban Conversion. I'm just chopping there with one of my co workers. You just now tuning in to my channel. I did 20 years on a 30 year federal prison sentence, and I'm just chopping it up with my co my co worker at the job on this Saturday. You know, and uh, just giving him some game, young guy. Just giving him some game on financial um, literacy, on uh, what to do with your money, investments, and stuff like that. And he got a lot of questions for me, so I'm, I'm, I'm answering them, however they come. You know, so, like with the car you was on, uh, like your brother buying the car, the years, the crucial years, y'all years, y'all in right now. Right. I was in prison. So, from having street money, drug money, not knowing what to do with the money. Because I had a conference with a couple guys throughout my years being in prison. And we came up with the scenario of just understanding different races when you in the drug game. Now, every race deal with, have dealt with some type of financial game with this drug market in whatever area it is. And no nationality exempt from this, none. So, um, and from my, from me and my analyzation from talking to many men from all over the years, black people, and I'm speaking from my standpoint, and it's only because of me, when we drug dealing, selling drugs and getting fast money, when you're getting fast money, not having the right people around you to nurture the finance of this fast money. So when we get in trouble, so when we do get in trouble and the police come kick in the house and all of that, nine times out of 10, the black guys don't understand that the feds look deep into your whole family tree. When you get in trouble with the feds, they look and see how much money your daddy made. If your mama live in Montana and you live in New Jersey, they gonna look and see who your mama is and see how much money she made, what profession she in. If you got brothers, the school documents, uh, any trail from your social security number to show job history, all of that. So that's how they equate your finances. But if you making two and three hundred thousand dollars every two or three days and you laundering, and it's hard to launder this type of money if you buy nice cars, nice homes. This is how the feds catch, catch you with the, um, um, tax evasion or um, money laundering and stuff like that. This is where that come in at. When you making all this money and you don't know how to launder it, but you want these nice things. Your dad been working for the last 15, 20 years. So what you gonna have him go buy you? You gonna have him go co-sign you a $50,000 car. He don't even make 50000 a year. But you know, the finance people gonna say, okay, since he got a job, we're gonna give him this car. But the feds come in and they understand the cost of living. They look where you live at. The stores, they know the economy of the neighborhood where you live at the amount of money you make all year so they can dividend this money. What about the stuff like off the books? Like, you know. like, if you find stuff with, when the feds come do a raid, everything gonna be, like, the receipts, all of this stuff gonna be added up, like, how can y'all afford all of this? How can y'all fund and launder to have acquire all of this when y'all having this amount of money being brought into the household on paper.
for everything outside of the um, shit that's coming in on paper. Cost sixty thousand, eighty thousand. Y'all got another house that you and bought and re um, done, and you paid cash for it. Where all that money accounted for? That's when tax evasion and stuff like that come in and money laundering, because they like it's too much stuff around you, and it's only this month of money coming in on paper. You know what I'm saying? So what black people do? When we selling drugs and, and, and things of that nature, we only make this money, we make this money and pile it up. We don't know how to invest in the banks. We don't know what to launder the money into to make it comfortable for us. But that that's the difference. Black people pile the money up and put it in the closet. When the police kick in the house, they got your money, they got the drugs, and you, you stuck. Then you got you maybe you got a little money somewhere else. You take that money and you gotta you give it to the lawyer. So then where you end up? Then they drag you so long and if your money ain't up up because you've been buying all this privilege shit, you really ain't got no money to fight your case. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, man, the when 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 money involved, man, the feds gonna find out. It's OG Weasley.